Question number one. The conductors and equipment for delivering electric energy from the serving utility to the wiring system of the premises served is called blank. A. Service. B. Service conductors. C. Service cable. D. Service drop. Answer. A. Service. Question number two. Additional services shall be permitted for blank buildings or site developments with group of single detached buildings where there is no available space for service equipment accessible to all occupants. A. Single occupancy. B. Multiple occupancy. C. Multiple dwelling. D. Single dwelling. Answer. B. Multiple occupancy. Question number three. Service conductors supplying a building or other structure shall not pass through the interior of another building or other structure. A. True. B. False. Answer. A. True. Question number four. Service conductors shall be considered outside of a building or other structure if where installed under not less than blank millimeter of concrete beneath a building or other structure. A. 30 millimeters. B. 40 millimeters. C. 50 millimeters. D. 60 millimeters. Answer. C. 50 millimeters. Question number 5. Conductors, other than service conductors, shall not be installed in the same service raceway or service cable in which the service conductors are installed, except for blank conductors having overcurrent protection. A. System control. B. Motor control. C. Load control. D. Load management control. Answer. D. Load management control. Question number 6. If the maximum available fault current at the surface is affected by modifications in the electrical installation, it shall be verified or blank as necessary to ensure the service equipment ratings are sufficient for this current at the line terminals of the equipment. A. Checked. B. Recalculated. C. Measured. D. Sized. Answer. Be recalculated. Question number 7. 
where the DC system source is located on the premises, a grounding connection, shall be made at blank. A. Dot the source. B. The first system disconnection means or overcurrent device. C. By other means that accomplish equivalent system protection and that utilize equipment listed and identified for the use. D. Either A, B, or C. Answer. D. Either A, B, or C. Question number 8. The clearance, over spaces and ways for pedestrians and restricted traffic, for conductors and live parts, up to 22 kV, nominal, to ground or less, shall be not less than blank millimeter. A. 4,100 millimeters. B. 4,400 millimeters. C. 5,200 millimeters. D. 3,700 millimeters. Answer. B. 4,400 millimeters. Question number 9. Where the opening to an outlet, junction, or switch point is less than 200 mm in any dimension, each conductor shall be long enough to extend at least blank outside the opening. A. 50 mm B. 60 mm C. 75 mm D. 80 mm Answer. C. 75 millimeters. Question number 10. Where raceways are installed in wet locations above grade, the interior of these raceways shall be considered to be a blank location. A. Dry. B. Wet. C. Damp. D. Corrosive. Answer. B. Wet. Question number 11. Metal raceways, cable armor, and other metal enclosures for conductors shall be blank joined together into a continuous electrical conductor and shall be connected to all boxes, fittings, and cabinets so as to provide effective electrical continuity. A. Electrically. B. Metallically. C. Permanently. D. Magnetically. Answer. B. Metallically. Question number 12. The independent support wires, for supporting electrical wiring methods in a fire-rated ceiling assembly, shall be distinguishable from fire-rated suspended ceiling framing support wires by blank. A. Color. B. Tagging. C. Other effective means. D. Any of the above. Answer. D. Any of the above. Question number 13. 
The primary purposes of blank are to confine the voltage stresses to the insulation, dissipate insulation leak hit current, drain off the capacitive charging current, and carry ground fault current to facilitate operation of ground fault protective devices in the event of an electrical cable fault. A. Shielding. B. Non-shielding. C. Insulation. D. Covering. Answer. A. Shielding. Question number 14. Surface type cabinets, cutout boxes, and meter socket enclosures in damp or wet locations shall be mounted so there is at least blank airspace between the enclosure and the wall or other supporting surface. A. 4 mm. B. 5 mm. C. 6 mm. D. 10 mm. Answer. C. 6 mm. Question number 15. For enclosures in wet locations, raceways, or cables entering above the level of uninsulated live parts, shall use blank. A. Insulated fittings. B. Grounded fittings. C. Fittings listed for damp locations. D. Fittings listed for wet locations. Answer. D. Fittings listed for wet locations. Question number 16. Solid aluminum conductors, 8.0 mm square, 5.5 mm square, and 3.5 mm square, shall be made of in blank electrical grade aluminum alloy conductor material. A. AA800 series. B. AA8000 series. C. AB8000 series. D. A6000 series. Answer. B. AA8000 series. Question number 17. Where installed in raceways? Conductors blank and larger, not specifically permitted, or required, elsewhere in this code to be solid, shall be stranded. A. 3.5 mm square. B. 5.5 mm square. C. 8.0 mm square. D. 14 mm square. Answer. C. 8.0 mm square. Question number 18. Conductors and cables shall be durably marked on the surface. The square millimeter size or area shall be repeated at intervals not exceeding blank millimeter. A. 500 mm. B. 600 mm. C. 900 mm. D. 1000 mm. Answer. B. 600 millimeters. Question number 19. Non-metallic boxes, 
shall be permitted only with blank. A. Open wiring on insulators. B. Concealed knob and tube wiring. C. Flexible cords. D. All of these. Answer. D. All of these. Question number 20. According to PEC, the volume of a 75 by 50 by 50 millimeter metal device box is blank. A. 164 cubic centimeter. B. 188 cubic centimeter. C. 172 cubic centimeter. D. 205 cubic centimeter. Answer. A. 164 cubic centimeter. Question number 21. Constant current transformers are generally used to provide power to blank connected loads. A. Series. B. Parallel. C. Series parallel. D. Either A or B. Answer. A. Series. Question number 22. The following are the factors that determine the voltage produced by a generator except for blank. A. The number of turns of wire in the armature. B. The strength of the magnetic field of the pole pieces. C. The speed of the armature. D. Percent impedance. Answer. D. Percent impedance. Question number 23. When a generator supplies current to a load, blank is produced, which makes the armature harder to turn. A. Torque. B. Counter torque. C. M. F. D. Resistance. Answer. B. Counter torque. Question number 24. What are the factors that determine the amount of torque produced by a DC motor? A. The strength of the magnetic field of the pole pieces. B. The strength of the magnetic field of the armature. C. The speed of the armature. D. Answers A and B. Answer. D. Answers A and B. Question number 25. It is the amount of torque produced by a motor at the time of starting. A. Locked rotor current. B. Locked rotor torque. C. Torque current. D. Locked rotor test.
answer. B. Locked rotor torque. Question number 26. The direction of rotation of any three-phase motor can be changed by reversing blank of its stator leads. A. 1. B. 2. C. 3. D. Any of the above. Answer. B. 2. Question number 27. What is the synchronous speed of a four-pole motor connected to 60 hertz? A. 1200 rpm. B. 1500 rpm. C. 1800 rpm. D. 3600 rpm. Answer. C. 1800 RPM. Question number 28. If the excitation current of a synchronous motor is increased above the normal level, the motor has a blank power factor. A. Lagging. B. Leading. C. Unity. D. Zero. Answer. B. Leading. Question number 29. A 240 volt branch circuit supplies a continuous load of 21 amperes. What is the minimum standard size circuit breaker permitted for the branch circuit over current protection? A. 20 amperes. B. 25 amperes. C. 30 amperes. D. 40 amperes. Answer. C. 30 amperes. Question number 30. What size feeder overcurrent device is needed on a 240 volt single phase feeder supplying a 175 ampere continuous load? A. 180 amperes. B. 200 amperes. C. 225 amperes. D. 250 amperes. Answer. C. 225 amperes. 